Hello everyone, Coinhound here. Today is an exciting day. I will be unveiling the 2023 Silver and Gold Britannias with the new Charles III obverse. First, before we look at the coins, I just want to briefly put things in historical context. Now, the English monarchy dates back about 1,200 years. Pretty incredible when you think about it. And during that 1,200 years, there have been over 60 monarchs and 42 monarchs since the conquest of England by the Norman Duke William in 1066, also known as William the Conqueror. Those monarchs, those 42 monarchs, are pictured on the left of your screen there. And Queen Elizabeth down at the bottom row uh, on the far right side. And of course, the new King of England, pictured there on the right, Charles III. Now, Charles III is 74 years old. He was born in November of 1948. And here is a photo of him as a baby with his mother, Elizabeth. She ascended to the throne in 1952 upon the death of her father. At that time, Charles, of course, became the heir to the throne, a position that he would hold for 70 years. If my understanding is correct, that's longer than any other heir to the throne has waited in the history of the English monarchy. He was established as the uh, Prince of Wales in 1958 and as a young man uh, attended university at Cambridge, graduating in 1970. Here's a, a picture of him uh, from his Cambridge days. Uh, after he graduated from college, uh, he entered into military service, uh, first in the Air Force, uh, where he qualified as a pilot and then later on in the Navy, where he served on multiple ships and eventually uh, qualified as a helicopter pilot. In 1981, in one of the more famous weddings in recent history, uh, he married Diana. And that marriage, uh, as I'm sure we all know, proved to be uh, a troubled marriage. She gave birth to two children, William and Harry, and here they are uh, pictured on the screen. Um, but ultimately, uh, the marriage would not last. And their separation was announced in 1993. And uh, officially, they were divorced in 1996. About a decade later, in 2005, Charles would marry his on and off love, uh, Camilla Parker Bowles. And this past fall, Charles ascended to the throne upon the death of his mother, Elizabeth II. So that is a quick overview of the historical background and context of these coins we will now be looking at. All right, everyone, the moment we've all been waiting for, the unveiling of the 2023 Gold and Silver Britannias. There they are in front of you on the screen with the very familiar and iconic Lady Britannia. So let's go ahead and take a look at these up close. We'll start with the silver one, and then we'll finish up with the gold. Okay, so here is the beautiful Britannia design. Uh, so uh, this is uh, just, I think most people would agree, a, a truly incredible, iconic design. Uh, the inscription, pretty standard, Britannia 2023, one ounce, three nines fine silver. And then you have Lady Britannia. Uh, I love the detail in the background there, kind of a pattern that are kind of like waves, almost like waves of the sea. And she is, of course, holding a trident there, which is often associated with the sea. And I love in the last couple of years, uh, the slight change they've made to the look of the uh, shield there. And then they've also added 
uh, this fascinating security privy mark, and I don't know if the phone's going to catch it here, but it has like a padlock, and then if you tilt it in just the right direction, sort of, there you can kind of see it, you see a trident. Okay, there's the trident, and then a padlock. All right, so let's take one last look at the reverse there. Just such a beautiful, beautiful design. Now let's flip it over, and here is King Charles III, uh, his uh, newly designed effigy. And I've been around a while. I'm in my 50s, and this is very much surreal. Uh, all my life, British coins have had Queen Elizabeth on them, uh, and now we have a new image. And uh, so you get a look at the effigy there. Very nice. Maybe I can even... Zoom in a little bit closer here. It's very shiny, so it's hard to pick up all the detail. We've got a nice little pattern in the background there, too, which you can see behind uh, the effigy. And then the traditional inscription, Charles III. Now, there's a bunch of letters here. Now, these are abbreviations for Latin phrasing. So the DG is uh, for the Latin words, and uh, give me a little... Uh, Room on my pronunciation here. I'm not sure if this is exactly right. Uh, but Dea Grazia uh, Rex. And that is uh, translated in English by the grace of God King. And then you have the initials FD, which are for uh, the phrasing Fide Defensor, which is defender of the faith, uh, which shows um, or connects to uh, the role of the monarch as the head of the Church of England. And then the face value, of course, is two pounds. Very nicely done. Shortly after the death of the king, um, I'm sure that many coin collectors and precious metal stackers uh, began wondering uh, what the new effigy would look like and when those new coins would come out. And here they are. To celebrate the occasion, I decided not just to get the silver, uh, but also... Uh, to get some gold. And this here, this here is a quarter ounce gold Britannia. And I did pick up both these coins off of the Royal Mint website, and it was nice. Uh, I thought the price was fair, and for bullion products on the website, uh, there's free shipping. So I didn't have to pay that international shipping charge, uh, which was very nice as well. All right, so let's zoom in a little bit here. This is the reverse again. And it is pretty much the uh, same design as on the silver coin. So I'll just give you a chance to take a, a look at it there. And let's see if we can see anything with this privy. There's the, the lock and then transforming into a trident there. Uh, so that's kind of neat. All right. So uh, once again, that classic design. Nicely done. And then we flip it over, and this is my very first gold coin. And, of course, that's my first silver coin, well, with Charles III on it. Uh, so uh, a pretty neat occasion. One of the great things about the hobby of coin collecting and precious metal stacking is uh, there's always new and interesting things being released. Of course, that also can be a challenge uh, to the pocketbook a little bit uh, because funds are not unlimited, and there is so much cool stuff out there to get. Uh, but I definitely had to uh, make it work for these two items, uh, starting off uh, the reign of the new king of England here. So anyways, thank you for coming along uh, through this video. Please hit the like button if you did. If you're not a subscriber, please go ahead and subscribe. But from what I understand, if you do subscribe, you also have to leave a comment or that subscription won't stick. All right, everybody. I hope you all have a great day, a great evening. This is Coin Hound. Signing out.